everybody kind of gets stuck every once in a while with only making three string instruments or four string instruments. We kind of live within our comfort zone. Say it with me, Bugaria. 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 This video is brought to you by stubbyslide.com where you can find David Sutton's amazing book, Obsessed with Cigar Box Guitars, over 120 hand-built guitars from the masters. Get your autographed copy today at stubbyslide.com. Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel, and uh, this is a Bugatti. Say it with me, Bugatti. Bugatti. This is a Croatian folk instrument used in the tamborica type of music in Eastern Europe. <laughs> And it's basically the acoustic guitar, the rhythm guitar of the Tamborita uh, band, you know, and in this band they use like a mandolin, real small instruments, a medium instrument that's like a tenor guitar, and then they do have a cello type of instrument, but the Bugatia is the rhythm, kind of the rhythm guitarist. Okay, but the reason I'm showing this off is I want to talk about cigar box guitars. I want to talk about how everybody kind of gets stuck every once in a while with only making three string instruments or four string instruments we kind of live within our comfort zone this bugatti the players of this instrument they they embrace the entire no rules concept that we try to preach in the cigar box guitar world now when we first started pushing this movement on the internet um we so many of us kept saying there's no rules no rules no rules tune it how you want string your cigar box guitar how you want you know if you want to do three strings do three strings if you want to do six strings do six strings whatever but everybody kind of gets into their own little habit well let me bring this out and use it to encourage you guys okay so the Bugatti players um choose how they want to tune their instrument. Right now this is tuned to an open G, which is G, D, G, B. Which is why it's similar, or it's the same as my um, four string cigar box guitar. It's why I can do all that blue stuff on it. Um, but Bugatti players in Croatia, um, they choose how they want to tune this. Do they want to go into open G? Do they want to go open C, open E? It's up to them. And they also choose how they want to string it. Now this is set up with six strings. It could be five strings if they want. And also they can choose. Now this has doubled strings here. So you have single string. I'm going to do a little close up. Boom, I got the camera to do it. You got the low, two low strings are single, G and D. However, the two high strings are doubled, G and B. Now, I want you to notice something. It has a floating bridge right here. You see this? This floating bridge has extra notches in it that are currently not used. The reason it does have that is sometimes a Bugatti player wants to string his instrument with the doubled string on the second string. So it would be single, double single double and you can move this around and then change the tuning now if I try to play it right now it knocked away out of tuning so there is no rules in this instrument and they even change around the bridge and the nut the nut you can even uh, let me get it you can move it around it's got extra notches in there as well there's no rules to this instrument, and the rhythm players of the tamboritas um, are not shunned for changing their guitar around. They're not shunned for using a different tuning than what tradition should be. In fact, the tradition 
of this instrument is to find your own voice. The tradition of this instrument is to find your own voice. Now, this is the same as a cigar box guitar. I had Josh Gaia make this for me. I love this guitar. This is a six string cigar box guitar. The strings are doubled like a 12 string. Now, I don't have it tuned in, but to, I don't have it plugged in. But it just has such a beautiful sound to it, and it's unlike any three or four string cigar box guitar that I own. In fact, I love this guitar so much. I have it tattooed right there. Boom. I want you to dream up some new instruments. Try something different. Now, if you're wondering, well, how do I double the strings and, and how do I make the neck? Well, this um, Bugatia has no truss rod in it. Uh, I kept the strings light whenever I put new strings on. I don't know if the old strings were correct or not. I actually use tenor banjo strings on here, and they're not extremely tight. They're a little loose, so I know that it doesn't have a lot of extra tension on the neck. Um, but anytime I would make a cigar box guitar with doubled strings, in order to get the right gauge of strings, all I would do is go online, look up the string packs for 12-string electric guitars, and I would see what those gauges are. And quite honestly, I am sitting on a couple hundred high strings, like high B and high E strings, from all the years of me building cigar box guitars, and um, when I buy a regular pack of acoustic guitar strings, I'd only use the three middle ones, so I had all these extra ones. And I'd just go through my collection and find the right high strings to double. And those doubled strings just sound so pretty. about that try some doubled strings try some crazy string combinations and just remember even though you're going off the beaten path you shouldn't be shunned for it you it is quite all right to take a totally different path put weird string combinations on your cigar box guitars because we're not alone even those people in the uh, Eastern European tamborita bands are choosing their own tunings, choosing their own strings. So, you know what? Go out there and do some crazy stuff. Say it with me. Bugaria. Bugaria. <laughs> My name's Shane Spill. Check out shanespill.com. Hold on, hold on. In Eastern Europe? <laughs> I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Boom.